What is up, Risk Takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete Strategy. I am Pete. I'm a top player in Risk Global Domination. I have a daily release on YouTube. I'm doing weeknight streams on Twitch. And if you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Come along the ride with me for today's episode. We're going to be playing a round of classic progressive. I feel like I don't give these settings enough love. They are some of my favorites. They are my roots in the game. I just want to share with you my enjoyment of them. I have a pretty strong North America spawn. Am I a greedy enough guy to try to take a continent in Classic Progressive? One of the big continents at that? I don't know about that. I don't know about that. But the good news is I don't have to decide right away. I can bluff like I'm trying to take it. Yes, red is exhausting material in NA. I like it. Yeah, I can bluff like I'm trying to take it. That's good. I can definitely bluff like I'm trying to take it. So I'm going to roll a 7v1 into Mexico, locking off red into the bottom pocket. Um, I could roll down. But I think I just want to... And I'll give black a route out. We see bonuses mattering a lot more in classic prog, so... I mean, if I can snag a NA, that would be wild. It shouldn't occur. <laughs> starting with uh, starting with the North America, like, I, this shouldn't occur. But Black is probably going to take SA, or uh, Africa, rather. Or just consolidate in the middle of the board. Let's take a look at the uh, let's take a look at the settings first. So settings for today's episode: we're playing World Domination on Classic Map, Auto Setup 60, Second Turn Expert, Automated Bot. We don't start with any, and then nothing fancy. No fog, no blizz, no portals, no alliances. I am in the second position, in the first position of Davy Schnitzer from Germany, playing as red. In the second position is myself playing as yellow. This is my anything goes account. Currently sitting top 500 on the world leaderboard. In the third position is Dewey Shoji. Say that three times fast. From USA playing as black. In the fourth position, the green player is Anaya Tachibana from Mexico playing as green. And he is going to want the South America play by the look of it. In the fifth position, General Cogburn 14204 from USA playing as blue. And finally, General Kata 18477 uh, playing as purple. So... The most important things you guys want to pay attention to in Free For All Progressive World Dom is the set. So the sets come out 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 15, and then up by 5, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, and so on. Um, they increase every time someone trades. If you're holding 5 cards, you're forced to trade. Um, that means holding 5 cards at the beginning of your turn, holding 5 cards if you've killed a player. So the key... Style of play for free for all progressive world dom is predatory. You want to line up your kills when they are profitable, when the total troop count um, spent to make a kill is more or less recouped by the cards in turn. I know that was a lot of words, but you'll you'll see it happen, and I'll show you examples of how it happens. Blue attacking down is good for my uh, greed out take North America play. I mean, we might try it. Do we see red roll 7v3? Ooh, red blocks in Australia. That's not wise. Red's going to get their six rolled here. Normally, I'd want to play multi-positional. But seeing as how my spawn is all clustered in one spot, I'm actually going to try and at least bluff like I'm trying to take North America. Okay, red making two attacks. No real need to do that. Both of his stacks are threatened. His six and his seven both block bonuses. So we might see the bonus taking um, go. In which case. I'm just going to continue my plan of making it seem like I'm really trying to take North America. And if I end up taking North America, boy, howdy, won't that be hilarious. So far, I haven't spent any troops. We're sitting at 25 troops. We are tied for the lead. Black doesn't get Africa yet. Let's see if they continue to work on it. Hmm. 
Yeah, he does go back down. Moves the 10 to Madagascar. Black's going to have to leave North America soon, I figure, because he won't know. Based on my play, he'll, he'll assume I'm going to smack it. I might, if, if Blue doesn't use that three, I might smack it um, just to sort of continue bluffing very, very thoroughly. At some point, you guys are going to be like, wait, does Pete really mean to take North America? And as I said, if, if I can get it for free, I'll get it. Bonuses in Progressive is never something that I would have advocated historically. But yeah, you see Green wants SA. So Green's going to hit that seven soon. Five moves up to the eight. And that seven gets smoked next turn. Five moves up to the, the two. All right, that seven is fucked. Yep, Green does spend. Green does spend. I like that. Or blue, rather. Blue spends the three, so he's still... He's gotten a lot of good value out of that four stack. Do we see purple roll the red six? Red is in big trouble from their positioning now. Having, having two blocking stacks and bonuses that players are obviously trying to take is not a recipe to go out anywhere other than dead last, probably. Also, thankfully, we see everyone has readied and everyone has stayed connected. I like. I want to play a real six-player game. Did I speak too soon? Has purple disconnected? No. Please continue to play. It's the six. Lol. All right, red is down to 18 troops in four positions, but uh, their North American position is empty. Let's see where they add troops. They add to the seven. Do they add to the seven? They do. Do they hit my seven? Yeah, so I think that was a mistake. I think you absolutely don't add anywhere there. Green is going to roll that. He skips. Hmm. Don't love it. Him skipping. Yeah, I mean, I don't have to skip yet, but I don't want to be in the first seat. I don't really want to be in the second seat. Um... Let's lock the nine in further. I'll go get myself another cup of coffee. All right, green lets, backs off, lets red out. Very good move. They're giving red a chance to leave and preserve the troops. And red takes the opportunity. Great. Great. I'm now the troop leader tied with blue. Blue for getting really good value out of his four stack. He got three cards out of it. Being able to add exterior. Blue is good. I'm going to remove them from that position. Okay, red gets their third card here. If I can actually take... North America and not get... Oh, wait. He split. He didn't do what I thought he was going to do. Um...
Okay, so I probably skip on four because I don't want to be at the end of the trading sequence. Black's only in two positions. Red's in three. Blue's in effectively three, but he's going to lose his North America as well. If I was black, I'd leave. I've given the Alaska corridor enough time. I'm sure black must suspect that I'm going to hit his four. But he doesn't seem to care. Okay. Also, because I'm a troop lead, I can skip and get a higher trade. I usually don't advocate skipping. I think skipping here is okay. Maybe it's not. Maybe I don't worry about it. I just don't want the four trade. I hate the four trade. All right. Green's probably steaming a little bit about red blocking. Green places in an exterior. It breaks Africa. Lovely. I love this. This is great. This is just dandy. I think I'm fine to skip. Let's see if red takes a fourth card. Okay. Purple holds a bonus. Do I lose my two in Siam? Surprised that still exists. All right, does red take a fourth card? You do, okay. So I'm at 30 troops and four. If I take my fifth card, it'll trigger a trade next turn. We're gonna try a skip here. We're gonna try a skip here and we're gonna try and bluff like we are disconnecting. So we're gonna run the clock out all the way to three quarters of the turn. And this is a very particular play because I'm trying to bluff the skip. <laughs> right, I'm trying to make it appear like I'm botting. So this would be about the time where the game would check that you're about to bot. And then you would put the troops down now. And then highlight the territory and turn is over. Okay, so I bluffed a skip pretty good, pretty good. That would be like if I was to do a tutorial about how to bluff a skip. Um, this puts me in the 15 trade, not the four, because red skipped, right? We are now on turn six. So the first, the first fifth card taken is blacks. Black, don't roll a 3v3, you will lose. That is dumb, don't do that. Um, black takes their fifth card. They're sitting in two positions and 25, 25, uh, 23 and five. I'm at 33 and four. I have 10 troops on black. Okay, green player at 23 and four. They still have an exterior position in Middle East. Um, I want the 15 trade here. I need to keep parity with purple. Purple holds a bonus. I'm also like decently in a troop lead over purple. So happy to be sitting at 33. Blue having... 30, though, is the problem, because I've identified Blue as the other good player in this game. So I probably want to take them out sooner rather than later. Green gets their fifth card. Everyone else going to get their fifth card. So I get my fifth card last. Which is fine by me. I think bluffing the NA take worked really well this game because people weren't holding bonuses. At least they didn't get them early. So, and they don't seem to have mattered yet. Okay. Blue's at 32. Don't think blue skips. I think blue takes a card here. 
Maybe they add to Japan. Go to a two position play. They line up against me. They line down to red. Okay, they have the red kill. Pretty good. Okay. They have an okay line on the green kill as well. Purple working on Europe now. Purple's playing a fixed game. Okay, what does red do? I don't think red sets early. So red's sitting on five cards. Maybe blue can kill them. They do set early. Interesting. They do sit early. Okay. I'm a little bit worried about blue snagging the green kill. Let's see. 15 goes down. Doesn't roll my 13, does it? Yeah, it does go down. Okay. Green is down to... 13 and 5. Do I have lines? And I break black. That's going to let blue in easier on that kill. Black has lines on the green kill. The green actually, the green set isn't all that high, so I'm okay to lose it. It's the set right now. The set's only on the 6. I can take my 5th card. I want to be in a number of positions, I think. I think we're going to see some fireworks. Okay, sitting at 35 and 5. Nobody kills me in the first sequence. I'll get to trade. I'll get the 15. Black sets. Does black kill green here? If they do, so they get the 6, they're going to kill green, get the 8, um, and then sit on 5 cards, right? And then blue kills black, I think. Ah, I'm worried about blue. I'm worried about blue making a, a profitable kill. I got great lines on red. Don't kill red this turn. No, I do. I do kill red on my next turn if that's viable. Let's see. If, first of all, let's see if black kills um, green. They don't. Okay, green's going to live to set, and that might go up red's ass, which will give a profitable... Well, not a profitable kill to blue. Blue could still kill red, but it wouldn't trigger an in-turn trade, which is very key. If, uh, if green fills, feeds the red kill to blue here... Blue could kill red, but they won't trade, which will give me an opportunity to kill them. Yeah, obviously green sets, obviously green hits red. Then let's see what happens. They're manualing too, yeah. Switch their dikes back to blitz. They remove that entire pocket. I still have lines on both pockets. I'm really good for the red kill. And, and because of the way the turn order works, the red kill is a lot better for me than it is for blue. Okay, never mind. I have three stack in Africa. Changes that up. Okay, blue sets gets the 10. Do they make a kill here? They can make a kill on purple if they're feeling frisky. That might be worth. Uh, does he go for the red kill? Overextending to kill red would be an error. This looks like a purple line. No, he is going to kill red. This would be an error. No? Okay, good. Good, good, good. I'm in a great spot. To kill red, set, get the 20. Then kill green? Yeah, chain react. Kill red, kill red set, get the 20. Kill green, set, get the 25. I, I think this might be a, this might be a winning position. Then I kill black, yeah. All right, so the dominoes are kill red, set, kill green, set, kill black, set, win the game. I think we're feeling good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's see what they put. 
The only thing that fucks this up is Red not taking a card. Mm. Jinxed myself. Red doesn't take a card. And I do it by killing green first. <laughs> All right, that line of play still works. Okay. Red bought it, sits on two cards. Set? Card. Almost. Okay. Uh, let's see if I still have it, guys. Still have it. Okay, so I don't worry about red. I'm going to kill green here. One second, the 20. Okay, so I've got the 20. Killing red won't trade me in. Killing black will. Oh, black. At the 25. Killing red still doesn't get me. I think I take it anyways because I don't want those cards on the table. I sit on five cards at the end of my turn. Don't love it. Um, but as long as these guys don't have cards and team on me and or team on me, I, I'm okay. I think I needed to kill Red to get his cards off the table. So we're, we go top three. The set is 30. Do either of these guys have a trade on three? If red took a card, I would have swept that turn. <laughs> I think we're still looking okay. Yeah, blue does a couple of breaky breaks, no worries. Can't let Pete have all that material, that's fair, but he doesn't overextend because blue is good. I'm actually very concerned about blue player, so I'm gonna prioritize killing them, um, all things being equal, and they're both equal. All things are in fact equal right now. These guys have the same number of troops, the same number of cards. So let's see if purple sets and gung-ho hits me, otherwise I'm pretty sure I win this game. They do. They do they gung-ho hit me. No, they've already wasted their clock. <laughs> they might, they could stop me from getting the blue kill, though. This could fuck up. If purple hits me hard and only me, then they feed me to blue. He's thinking about what to do. He doesn't know what to do in this scenario. Does he hit my stack? Don't do it. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. You just take second, skips a card. Good game. Yeah. 17. 24 kills, 1700%. And this is... 30 definitely kills that. Yeah. Kill blue set. Yeah. I like your game, Blue. 
Well played. You deserved you deserved second. I don't think purple did. But hey, <laughs> it just wasn't the way the cookie crumbled. Ladies and gentlemen, this game was absolute textbook. Um you love to see it, huh? There was a ton of material in and no cards in Australia. Yeah. There we go. Roll down to two positions, 26 troops. And Bob is in fact your uncle, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I hope it wasn't, this wasn't too complex of an intro to how to play Progressive World Dom on Classic. I'm obviously going to include it in the Classic playlist. We have a ton of these. You want to see a lot of iteration on the settings from how it started back in the day. This was my very first video on YouTube was these settings. And the game has changed a ton. Um, and if you're newer to the game and you just want a little refresher course on how to play Progressive or understand it at all, hope this was somewhat expository. We successfully skipped too, which I know some of the skip haters are gonna give me a hard time about, but uh, it just seemed like the right thing to do from my seat. So we take the out that was offered. Well played, send it home. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Hope you found some of it fun and entertaining, maybe even a little teensy weensy bit educational and informative if you are interested in getting better at the game of risk. I invite you to subscribe to my channel, come along the ride with me because I am interested in getting better at the game of risk. Um, what we do with the show is we talk about what we're thinking. I'm never sitting here telling you what you should do. I'm just telling you what I see, what I think makes sense and playing from there. We defeat one novice for beginners. Hope you all enjoyed, ladies and gentlemen, and until next time, for all of you on the path to world domination, good games and good luck.